Lender versus Maya. Which one is better game development? Which of these software should you be choosing to ensure a bright career as a game developer in the game industry? This is what this video is all about, people. Blender just won an Oscar, people. Yes, the indie animated film Flow, made entirely in Blender, just made history. But here's the real question. If Blender can make award-winning films, can it also dethrone Maya, the king of the game industry, with more indie developers switching to Blender and AAA Studio you're still holding on to Maya, the battle is on. Today, we are diving deep into the Blender versus Maya debate for game development. And trust me, you do not want to miss this. All right, so let's discuss Maya first, which is the current king of the gaming industry, right? Maya has dominated AAA game development for over two decades, but why do the biggest studios rely on it? I'm gonna tell you why. The reason AAA studios choose Maya, firstly, it has really good industry pipeline integration. It works seamlessly with Unreal Engine and proprietary engines. Secondly, it has powerful animation and rigging to AAA games like Cyberpunk 2077, GTA 5, and The Last of Us all use Maya for animation. Next up, deep customization. Studios create specialized tools with Mel and Python scripting. Lastly, Autodesk support. AAA studios get direct help from Autodesk for pipeline optimization. But Maya also has its downside. Downsides of Maya, it's really expensive. A Maya license costs $2,000 per year plus, making it tough for indie developers. Next up, it has a really steep learning curve. It's not the easiest software for beginners. Lastly, and this is a big one, it is really heavy on hardware and you need a really powerful PC for smooth performance with Maya. All right, now let's talk about the challenger to Maya, which is Blender. Blender is free, it's open source software that is completely shaking up the game development industry. The reason why indie devs are switching to Blender, let's talk about the benefits of Blender. There's no subscription, no hidden costs. It's perfect for solo devs and small studios. It has fast updates and add-on features like geometric nodes, hard ops, and retop flow speed up asset creation. It is easier to learn and more flexible. Very uh, user-friendly UI with better default tools for modeling. It is great for stylized and procedural art because many, many indies games strive with Blender's procedural modeling tools. Lastly, it has seamless export to game engines. It works really well with Unreal Engine, Unity, and Godot. All right, now let's talk about the downsides of Blender, which are it is not the AAA standard yet most big studios still use Maya so if you learn Blender you are not going to have a smooth integration to a triple studio because they're most probably using Maya at this point next it has animation and rigging limitations Blender is improving but Maya is still the preferred choice for complex character animation lastly community driven development there is no direct studio support like Autodesk it actually relies for support on the open source community all right so now let's Let's talk about AAA game studios, big game studios versus new game studios. Let's talk about who's using what. While AAA studios still rely on Maya, newer studios and indie teams are actually switching to Blender and let's find out why. The studios using Maya are Ubisoft, which is, makes Assassin's Creed and Far Cry, CD Projekt Red, which makes The Witcher 3, Cyberpunk 2077, and Rockstar Games, which makes GTA and Red Dead Redemption. However, studios and indie games using Blender are Embark Studios, which is making procedural asset creation and real-time workflows, Wilson, Lords of Mayhem, in which the entire environments are made in Blender, and Teardown, which is a voxel-based physics deconstruction built in Blender. Now, let's come to the big question. Which one should you actually use, Maya or Blender? So if you want to work for a AAA studio, if that's your goal, then it's Maya. You should be learning Maya. If you're an indie dev or a freelancer and you don't mind working for small or medium-sized studios, which may actually be a much better thing. Personally, I think working for smaller or mid-style studios is actually a much better career choice than just running after AAA studios where the creativity, etc., is far lesser. I mean, it, it's cool to talk about trip, working for a AAA company, but the actual working at AAA, at, at AAA studios are not that great. If you want the choice to work in AAA studios, also smaller studios, indie studios, well, then just learn both because there are a lot of workflows which are really, really similar. It's what I tell my students that if you learn how to ride a, a motorcycle, once you learn how to ride a motorcycle, 
it's all the same you know you can ride a honda you can ride a suzuki it's just like slight difference in where the gears are when the accelerator is how the brakes work there's only slight difference otherwise once you learn how to ride a motorcycle you can learn how to ride different ones really fast so sim similarly once you learn maya or blender it's not too hard to pick up the other one all right so now let's talk about the future is blender going to replace maya so the thing is blender is evolving really really fast every new update makes it strong for game developers now studios are actually starting to experiment with blender i know a lot of people a lot of studios which actually used to use maya before but now they're experimenting they're trying blender they're finding that it's actually quite good because you may not need all the features of maya if you're a small studio and a lot of studios are actually cutting costs and actually moving to blender also autodex is super expensive the licensing is very very expensive and it's a really good way to cut costs by moving to blender all right at the end of the day maya or blender are just tools to help make your life easier right what truly matters is your skill and creativity your game is not going to be great because of the software your game is going to be great because of how you used it your skills using the software so let me know which one you would pick for game development would you pick blender or would you pick maya let me know put down a comment i would love to know also do let me know about more content ideas of what videos you want what content you want and i'd be happy to do that so thank you so much for being here i'll see you guys around let's go